it devastated me. Um, I've played what happened to her in my head many times thinking that could have just been me and I, what she went through and what sh her last moments of life was like. It, it's devastating. And did this murder of Marianne surprise you? Yes and no. Um, I figured something was going to happen soon, but did I expect it to be murder? No. She no longer works at the French Robertson unit. She left a month before Officer Johnson was killed. As well as I felt my safety was in jeopardy with how short staffed we are. It started to worry me every day I went to work. She recalled a time she was escorting an offender and she says she had no radio. I played lots of scenarios and I kept my distance as far as I could. Um, it, it was scary, but I continued to do my job. And she also talked about times she says she found fellow officers sleeping on the job. It worried me. It made me very upset because that could be my life in their hands just because they're not doing their job properly. And I want to go home every single night. She was afraid the inmates would act out. If those inmates see that we're understaffed, that is their opportunity to strike at us, whether that's a basic assault by just hitting us or whether that's a murder. She says her family is much happier now. When I resigned, that they said that was the best thing I could have ever done because they feared for my life every single day. Knowing she doesn't have to walk behind those cement walls anymore. In Abilene, Stacey Wormel, KTAB News.